The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the charts of the DAX and also the FTSE, the uh, London and the uh, German markets. As you can see, they're uh, approaching, breaking out to new highs, which we certainly could do on any of these things, of course. Now, we've had a – I posted a uh, picture of the, of, the, uh, of the FedEx. Hold on. You can see the FedEx picture there. Uh, see if you can find out the, where the arrow is, folks. There's an arrow there. Does anybody see the arrow? This is where you see the uh, you see it. Where's the pink elephant in the room? Well, <laughs> that's not always the way it is. But let's take a look at. Let me show you. Here's the arrow, folks. After let's just like going back to the. Oh, just a minute, boys and girls. Hold on, just a second. Good. Well, yeah, well, you see the arrow. There you go. That's it. There's your arrow right there. Well. Hold on just a second, folks. Something is uh, something is telling me that there's something moving really quickly. There, there, we're getting close to making new highs in the old stop and pee here pretty quick. So, uh, a lot of things happening today, folks. Uh, a couple of things that I think are really important. Mr. Z has asked a question about the uh, Tesla, folks. If there was one market, and we talked about this on Friday, if there was one of these markets that didn't look bearish, it was Tesla. I mean, my goodness, this thing had everything going for it that you could possibly ask for. Hold on, I'll get this chart up here eventually, and uh, we'll talk about it here. One second here. Bye. Uh, all right, let's get this up here. Look, look at the big gap up today. They have, uh, they have, uh, they're buying, uh, Hertz is buying 100,000 Teslas. I don't know where they're going to get the money for that, $4.5 but that's it. Here is the chart of Tesla. This has not been bearish, folks. Uh, you know, it really hasn't. I mean, it's just been, uh, you know, you can see what's been happening. It's been gapping. So something is going on here. And uh, anyway, that's uh, you can see the double bottom down there in March and, and in May. That was a beautiful double bottom. And then from there, we've the real the real change happened, folks, at 800. When it broke above 800, look, it was a one way Corrigan. It's moved 170 points with virtually, uh, I think it's had one tiny down day of $17. So this uh, it's a very bullish stock. You can't uh, you can't deny that. And and you look at some of these others, it's the same thing. Now I'm going to shift gears just a tiny bit here to. Uh, uh, go over a market that we really need to look at and that I've had several requests on this and you know I, before we get to that folks we're going to have a new service here at uh, t uh, 24 7 I have uh, I've joined forces with some people of course over in uh, the the uh, uh, across the pond over there in Hong Kong and Singapore and what we're doing come up with we're coming up with the CPAC program I posted the DWAC that's digital whatever acquisition whatever it is but uh, we've we found this was our buy buy part there you'll see there we bought that at $12 and we sold it at 173 and then you notice that it came down and stopped almost exactly at the 61% retracement now if you want to get involved with this I mean this is going to be something you want in a lifetime opportunity folks and what you want to do is write this down it's stmtl that means send the money to larry.com and we'll get started as soon as possible folks when stuff like this can happen i mean anything can happen i mean some this they have no earnings they have some ideas and that's good, you know, but they have no earnings. I mean, that, the earnings doesn't mean anything, I guess, but, you know, that that's speculation, folks. This is the kind of stuff that Jesse Livermore talked in his book about the bucket shops. I mean, there's not much difference in that. Now, what I'm surprised at is the stock, the New York Stock Exchange allows them to do that. But they've got rules set up that if people come up with ideas and have capital to get started – they're able to be listed, and that's exactly what happened. That stocks get listed, and all you have to do is to get in early, and that's what our game plan is here. We've got some inside information, folks, and I'm not going to tell you who it's coming from, but it's great inside information. 
And if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Hold on just a second, folks. I'm having a tiny bit of an allergy problem this morning, and I'll get that taken care of. All right, let's get let's get back to real life and talk about real markets with real possibilities and stuff like that. We've had several questions about the hog market, and this is why I want to bring it up to you. Here is the hog market. This is the December hog, okay? Let's get this up here so everybody can see it. We're going to walk through the old A, B, C, D, baby. Tips, tips, tips are us. You got <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. See, that's a good one. Okay, you can see the fact that we're below the 78% level. That's the first danger sign down here. When we're below that, that that's at 7420, and we're below that. But what we want to do is we want to examine it from the high that we made at the 78% level back in uh, late September, on the 30th of September, when we dropped from 85 to 73. We want to see what that is doing, folks. I've been trying to get rid of those two shares for a long time. You're absolutely – well, actually, what I do, Jimmy, is I, I Xerox them. Oh, well, there's no Xeroxing anymore, but <laughs> – boy, that really dates me. Now I want to show you the long-term picture in hogs, folks, because this is related to inflation and stuff like that. Here is the long – this is the long-term picture in the hogs. Okay, what I'm getting to is I want to show you how, how we go from a micro, from a macroscopic to microscopic. We do this, you know, several different times, but this is a good one because somebody's asked a question about this, and it's a it's a really nice one to look at. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to the hourly chart. You're going to see a couple things here. After the top was made there at 86, you see the market broke down, rallied right up to the 382 retracement at 83, broke hard, rallied one more time to the 382, another two two point rally, and then down. Now you can see what that is. I'm sure you have because if you paid any attention to what we do here at eight capital A B C D markets, you'll uh, get an idea of that's what we're watching. So let's get this next one up here, which will give us a better idea. If you ever wonder why there's any harmony in these markets or not, there might not be any, uh, uh, what do you call it, common sense in these markets, but they still have the car, they still have the harmony. Now you can see that the A, B, C, D patterns to the downside, and you can see they measure down here to this 73 area. The only thing we can say about this, folks, is that the amount of risk on here is relatively small, whether it rallies or not. I don't know. I mean, it's trading, I think, about right where it ended on Friday. But if it gets below, if it goes below 72, something's certainly wrong with this chart. That's what patterns are for. They tell you, you know, this is the time where you've got to, you know, put your uh, ideas at mo in motion and see if they're going to work or not. So that's what I want to mention to you about the hogs. We don't know what the future lies, but all we do know is that it's got some really great potential uh, if it can hold this level. That's the, the whole key to looking at it. Now, if we look at the – I'm going to take one quick look here at the February hogs because they look the same thing. Now, February, the the – We've got a, uh, we've got a, oh, we got a caller coming in. David, stay with us. We'll we'll have we'll have David from New York on the line in just a minute, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have David from New York on the line. David, are you there? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? I uh, got a good question. I appreciate your uh, perspective on things, especially regarding um, your approach to FIDs and stuff. I'm looking at uh, Zscaler, ticker ZS. I have the 300 calls uh, expiring November 5th, so I have two more weeks to go. I'm up about 12 grand, 13, something like that. Uh, could you give me an upside target about how high could I expect this thing to go? Okay, now let me get this straight. Now, you're David from New York, right? Right. Okay, and I'm Larry from Tucson, correct? Yes. <laughs> and and let me let me get this right now. You're up $12,000 on these calls, okay? And you're calling Larry to get an idea of where, I, where they're going to go. My friend, uh I'm just joking with you, my, my my friend, but let me let's get this up here. You you just answered your own question. Let me show you why. Hold on just a second. Here's your here's your chart of ZS, uh, Z scalar. All right, you see here that the it's way above the one two seven. The one point six one eight expansion on this is within seven dollar eight dollars of where it is right now. And you're up twelve thousand dollars and you asked yourself the question. You asked me the question, which is, hey, I, I understand that. But the answer to that question is get the hell out right now. Because whenever you start to think how much money you're making or how much more you're going to make, you're really close to that greed index. So I don't know where it's going to go from here. It might go to 350. But if this were my position, you've already answered the questions. One of the this, uh, if you look behind me there, you'll see that uh, 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 oil painting there. And the, one of the main thing is is when in doubt, get out. And you have a doubt. You don't, you don't know where to get out. You don't know where to get up higher. You don't know where to get out lower, so you have a doubt. And not only that, but you have 12000 How many times have you had $12,000 profits, David? Uh, of you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, the, the, you have a choice. You, I think the maximum on this would be 320 Just by looking at that's the 1.618 expansion. It's trading at roughly 312 and a half right now. So right. Uh, I I would just be very, very careful. We had a be beautiful ABCD down there at 248. Where, where did you buy these calls? Uh, around 290. Okay, 290. 
okay, well, well, okay, that's when it was breaking out to the upside. So uh, the only thing I can give you is the two favorite words of the Mexican language, and that's cuidado means be careful. There's danger ahead. Yeah. So you've uh, you've answered your own question, my friend. I would be uh, I would be exiting the market as fast as I possibly can. One of Larry Williams has only found one system that is a hundred percent, and that was his telephone indicator. His calculator indicator is what he called it. And that is if you went to your calculator to see how much money you were making on something, pick up the telephone first. This is going back into the late 70s, of course. Pick up the telephone first and get out because your greed index just did 100%. And I really believe right. yours is yours is setting about ivory soap right now, 99.9. So let, will you do me a favor? Let, let's revisit this to see how high it gets and then, you know, call in. And because if it goes straight up, we want to see that's happening. But I, I'd like to just become the psychological purposes of this. Please call me back, uh, you, you know, when I because I, I can't follow everything, but I'll, I'll keep this on my right. list. I'd like to find out uh, what it did and whether the advice they gave you was correct or not. But the one thing. You uh, you were able to pay for the advice for what you got, so your two cents is well paid for. <laughs> but right. I, I would it's already jumped another half a buck, see, so you've saved money by talking here. So keep talking and should be okay. <laughs> well, you know, you definitely don't want to um, be greedy. Um, yeah. There's just you know the other side of the coin though is when you cut your profit short. And I've done that numerous times, and then we have a okay. tendency to, you know, let those that are losers, uh -huh. you know, kind of cut our throats. Okay. And so, you know, I, and and being a technician, you know, uh -huh. you just want to, because uh, I was targeting the 320 area myself, so I was kind of, okay. kind of excited that you threw that number out as well. Well, I just looked at the 1.618 expansion is all what I looked at. But when I, when you, when you ask the question about it, that that's a, a, a real that's a sign of nervousness or doubt. That's your your uh, regular what do you call it reflexes coming in. I worked here with Mark Douglas for four years, and I watched him interview these people. And every time uh, they, they use their their what do you call it, instinct, they say, uh "Oh, something's not right, or I better get out now." And that's that's what the difference between a, a neophyte trader. And a guy that's been trading for a long time, he doesn't he doesn't even question his uh, his instincts anymore. He just acts and then moves on to the next one. But you've had a heck of a run here. Right. This thing has been straight up here for 16 days, so that makes it a tiny bit overbought. The last time we had a 16 day run, which was back in August, and from there we dropped from 296 all the way down to 248. So uh, be careful in here. Actually, there's a A B C D pattern here too. I just saw that just by just by looking at that, oh my goodness, maybe this, maybe your two cents worth is, uh, oh my goodness, let's just bring this up. I'll, I'll put it in here into the room so you can see it, but there is a really good uh, ABCD uh, pattern there, and that came in at uh, 308. Of course, we're four bucks higher than that. But anyway, that's uh, that's my two cents worth there. All right, appreciate it, sir. Hey, it's my play. Now, David, don't forget to call back in when you, when you finish this trade, okay? All righty. All right. See you later. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye. Okay. You bet. David from New York. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to take a look at now is the fact that uh, we've had a, a pretty good move here in the hogs today. Uh, from a, uh, the low on the hogs today was 73.47. Uh, uh, we're now trading uh, up about uh, oh, 50 cents, see, about 50 cents higher right now. The key on, ha on the hog, though, fact is the fact that if it gets below 72, in fact, that anything below 73 would uh, would tell you that, uh-oh, something's not right, because these numbers are pretty accurate, and you don't want to get in front of them if you're wrong. Folks, we're having a monster move in the natural gas. I, I We've been talking about this for the last few days, but the big gap that we had today was uh, – you know, really, uh, you'll see it here uh, on the map here. But we had that beautiful Gartley here back on the 18th. And uh, hold on just a second here and put this up here so we can take a look at it. There you go. And then, of course, we followed a little bit, but there's a huge gap today. It was up $25 uh, on the open, and, boy, that trapped a lot of people. And, of course, uh, once it went above uh, 572 you know, it just shot all the way up another $27 up to five. Uh, 96. So that's telling us that we're having some uh, natural gas problems in. Uh... Hold on one second, folks. Just give me one second. I'm going to have to sneeze here, I'm afraid.
last couple of days. The old Palo Verde trees have been uh, tearing me up. Let's just move on to the next one then. We'll be right back, folks. we got to pay a few bills, and then we will uh, talk a little bit about the foreign currency market that we're following closely. So let's uh, – oh, it might, might be too early in here. But if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And we'll answer your questions if we can. And I want to do one other thing, and that is to bring up this chart here on the natural gas to show you what it looked like on that half-hour chart that we've been following uh, very closely. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with tom o'brien and using his best-selling book the art of timing the trade your ultimate trading mastery system david white has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology using this first of its kind program the art of timing the trade charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for fibonacci formation setups including gartley's abc's butterflies and much more the art of timing the trade charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. And uh, I posted a chart here of the Dow Jones going back. Uh, it's a four-hour chart. goes back into April. You'll notice a gap that we had there, folks. Uh, it came down and filled that gap exactly. You'll notice it had a beautiful ABCD coming in right at that gap. And then you can see the ABCD patterns that are forming here uh, in this as we uh, come into uh, early November, which will be quite soon. Uh, all I'm looking up here is you can see that we're really close to a pattern up here at that uh, 3600 uh, 3, level. 
let's just what we're going to do is to for kicks and giggles we're just going to let oh, oh let's make sure i get this right because i want to make sure you get it right there we go there's one and there's two all right and here is the last one we want to take well second to the last one this is the four-hour chart. Now, you notice here, when you put it all together, you can see that we are making a three-drive to a top pattern here in the Dow Jones over the last seven months. Whether that's going to continue to com complete or not, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, another one that we need to pay very, very close attention to, folks, is the fact that we had a big, re a big reversal uh, in the uh, Dow Jones transportation, so just give me this up so you'll be able to see it. This we've talked about before. I'm just bringing it to your attention because it's so very important. Now, we're up to the 78% level uh, today here uh, in the Dow Jones transport, so that may or may not you know, mean anything or not. But that's uh, the main thing we're looking at is ABCD, folks. That's the one thing that we can say for sure that that's what we're watching. Now, there were two markets today that looked like they were really ready to do something. The one was the crude oil. It looked like it was making uh, what we call a uh, pretty significant uh, top up in here. Now, the problem was that if it didn't work, you know, you had to stand aside. And, but of course, the risk on this at this particular trade was only $400. So you can see here you had a, a 1.618 expansion up there at that 8430 level. Well, it hit 8430, and all evening long, the high had been 8470. And then, of course, once it went above 8472, it took off and ran up another dollar. So that's the other one. But there was another one. That was really interesting, and I, I th this is quite surprising. But if you take a look at this, this is a, and this is something that's looking very bearish long term. But for short term purposes, take a look here. Oh dear, <sighs> take a look here. Uh, you can see in in the red box there. I didn't I didn't blow this up because it, you can see it with your naked eye without any trouble at all. If you look at the little red box on the right there, you can see that there's a three drive pattern there, and this was highly suggestive of a little bit of a rally. Look how many look how much we've come down. You know we dropped a huge in, in the both bonds uh, and the uh, and the notes. So this was highly suggestive of a rally coming in, and that's exactly what we're having today. How much the rally is going to be? My we might get all the way up to the 382 of that last high, which would take us up around 132 and change. So that's a few things to looking at, folks. One of the one of the things that you know that I've done over the years is because I had to look at those ticker tapes for many years before we got the you know the computers in back in the early 80s. For many years, all I did was look at those ticker tapes, and I I uh, you know drew my own charts and all that stuff. And I, one thing I, I learned to do is to watch what J Jesse Livermore uh, talked about is uh, reading the tape. In other words, watch watch how when prices approach a certain area, how do they approach it? I mean, do they approach it with vigor or do they get up there and they're very timid? So that's what I, I, I look for those areas because when you see them, you know, you, you have an idea of what your risk factor is. This was exactly what I was looking at in the crude oil. Now, I – that's just one trade doesn't mean anything at all the other one you know we had two others that looked pretty interesting one was the if we got lower opening in in beans and also lower opening in in december meal on sunday night that was a good one and the meal rallied to almost 700 dollars. it's come back to that same level again and the the beans rallied 750 from those lower levels and that's all i was doing was going down to a 15 minute chart to see where the next support was and if it looked like it was going to be interesting there at that point i don't have to risk very much and that's the whole thing that i'm uh, trying to uh, realize now giving back to risk here there was a baseball game on friday night between the dodgers and the astros and the de the manager for the dodgers he should be penalized for what he did he did the same thing on wednesday night and he did the same thing on friday night he has an open base in other words he could walk the batter and who do they have batting it's the guy who's batting 500 folks 500 in a championship series that's impossible that kid's on fire so what did they do they pitched to him and it only took one pitch because he knocked it right into the seats again for another home run he did the same thing on wednesday night and that was basically the end of the game now i understand the theory behind what he did he has to manage these young men and they're all in their you know 20s and 30s as uh, albert 
Pujols is 41, but everybody else is in their 20s and 30s. And he has to instill confidence in him. So I imagine that's what he did. He decided that, yes, I have to do that. Now, he makes a managerial decision, and he, he's paid like $5 million a year for doing this. So that's the only reason that I can think of that he would do something like that, because that defies probability. When we're trading here, this is a perfect example, because when you're when you're trading, you're basically like you're basically playing in the World Series every day. But let's let's give, assume this: you've got a position on in the S and P, okay, and it is uh, two it's two twelve in the afternoon on Wednesday, the day that the Fed is in there giving a big speech about uh, uh, interest rates or a quantitative easing, what it's going to be. It's everybody's waiting at bated breath to see what's going on, and the problem is you're short, okay, and uh, you uh, one big move up and you're going to be out of the ball game and the, the other thing is is that if it breaks you know where do you put, take your profits and stuff so you're sitting there and it's 212 213 now stop just a second here you're, you're right into a major major announcement that you have absolutely no control over i'm sure you can have a stop in but believe me we all know that when the fed speaks stops get filled a whole lot higher so your risk here at that point was much much greater than any other time and that's what that's what Dave Roberts was faced with. His risk was too great there. He should have walked that young man. I mean, I talked to a couple of people that are professional baseball players and that I've mentioned here on the on the show before, and they agreed that, yes, he should have walked him. And then the, the, the batter behind him was not doing very well. So that was another positive that you have. You know, as you go through uh, looking at some of these things here. So I hope that gives you an indication of some of the things that we're paying close attention to here. Uh, another thing that we want to watch here is we uh, had our good friend Mr. Z on last uh, Friday, and we were talking about the, uh, the coffee. And as you can see here, that uh, this coffee had made a double top up in here, and it was, uh, you know, had already broken below the previous week's low. We got all the way down to 195 today, I believe, in the coffee, and that completed that little A B C D pattern that was there. And I'm sure Mr. Z was sitting there with both hands buying it down there at that 194 level. Uh, I think that was the low today uh, in the coffee, but uh, that's what we were watching uh, in the coffee on Friday. Shorter term pattern, but it still moves on. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average that we were looking at before. And as you can see, it's complete, today completed the pattern that we were looking at uh, that up there at that 30, just right around 36,000, I believe. I also posted the, I just did a little cycle from high to high to high to show you the symmetry uh, in that three drive pattern because it's within a day, it looks like. Uh, so we'll see that. Now, the one thing that I mentioned, uh, of course, uh, in the charts and stuff that I do over the weekend and stuff, I'd send out that uh, you always want to be looking to, you know, sell the weakest and buy the strongest if you're looking to to, to buy something. You know, Tesla's been the strongest. But let's take a quick look here. Uh, we don't have to make it quick. We'll just do it. But this is the Russell 2000. Now, you'll notice it's setting right at the 70% level. Uh, the high that we made back here uh, in September was at... Uh, uh, 2312 and the high today has been uh, 231190 it's basically the same we're going to take that out I mean that the third grader can figure out we're trading at uh, 13 231180 right now so it's going to take that stop out but you'll notice there's an ABCD there also so that gives you some pretty good indication that yes uh, you're going to be watching this, but we're we're uh, we're starting to see signs of a little bit of frothiness in the market when you see things like this uh, this DWAC and stuff uh, stuff like that that comes out. And I know a lot of it is political, but uh, believe me, they have to go through uh, the regulations of the New York Stock Exchange. But that's what speculation is for. Now, if you happen to be lucky and catch some of those things, that's great. But remember, it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose, and that's the key uh, to looking at it. Now, all I'm saying is, you know, we have taken out the highs in the S&P now that we had up there at uh, 45, 51 and a half. We went smashing through to 41, 51, 75, folks. We took it out by one tick. Boy, if that's not a sign of strength, I've never seen one before. Holy moly, guacamole. Look at this. This is a absolute explosive move almost like a thunderbolt you got to ask yourself how can it only go higher by one tick are you joking me i want to get off the air and start selling right now but i won't i'm going to wait and see what things look like as i go through watching some of these things here today hold on just one second and we'll take a quick look at this if we can uh, bear with me here. It only takes a second, folks. I got to make a little bit of a correction so that I can get the thing on, on track to see what we're looking at. And move this over just a minute here. See if we can get it right here. And then, all right, this is what I'm looking at as far as uh, timing. Now this doesn't work very often, but when it does work, it works pretty good. So sort of pay attention to it. There's a chance here we might get a little bit of a sell-off. Now, we have an ABCD pattern on this two-minute chart that's also uh, pretty good. Uh, nobody's calling in today, so I'm going to move down to two-minute charts just to uh, let ourselves get together. Folks, I'm going to be doing a webinar, a uh, day trading webinar with uh, Tom Hugard on uh, 
the 10th of November, uh, five hours trading with uh, Mr. Trader Tom and myself. It's for there to make money. We're going to do some teaching, but the whole thing is to make money. We've made, we've done three of these now, and they've all made money. But uh, the main thing is that we have to, uh, uh, you know, teach as we go along, and that you know helps. It, it eats up the five hours like you can't believe. Now here is where the if you're looking for a short-term top and. Sometimes I'm looking at risk control, and that's what I'm watching here. Take a look at the E-mini here, up here at the uh, 53 level, 45.53. And I know that's only two points away, but we've been here for a whole hour, so we'll see. we got a question coming in here. Look at Nike for Mr. Bo, Mr. Nike. Yes, I think we can. Uh, the Chinese uh, tennis maker. <laughs> Hold on one second. Uh, N-K-E. Nike starts with an N, right? There it is. Hold on just a second. Bo will be right there. There we go. It looks like it's heading to the moon. Let's just, let's, I don't see. Oh, no, it's just come off of a major bottom. We talked about this before recently because I've still got the markings on the darn thing. Let's just, let uh, me put this up here, Mo, uh, Bo. I want to see if we're right at the old mother. No, we're above the 61% retracement level, but uh, we are, uh, there we go. Uh, see, we're, uh, how many days up? Well, we're up about three weeks in a row. You can see the ABCD patterns on the downside. You notice that it stopped right at the 61% retracement level. Look at that. I mean, you 144, and now we're 164. We're above the 61% retracement of that move. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit overbought because it's up since the 4th of October. But uh, here again, uh, you know, look at the ABCDs on the way down starting in August. I mean, they're all perfect. I mean, you can't make this up, can you? Well, I guess you could, but uh, why anybody would, I don't know. You know what I don't understand, folks? Why don't more people see this? Am, am I just am I just colored blind? Well, I know I'm colored. Well, I'm not colored blind, but I'm just probably blind. But I, this thing is so simple that I just don't understand it. Basil sees it, I know, because I watched what he does. So there's a few others that are out there that do it. But anyway, that's it. Bo, I hope that helps. But the uh, we are a buck and a half above the, let, yeah, we're, well, let's call it $1 from 163 to 164. We're a dollar above the 61% retracement. So if you're in this, I would tighten up the stop and put a stop in at 160. 162 under the low of Friday. So if it went down, you'd at least lock in a nice profit. I hope that helps, but it does show the ABCD. That last ABCD, I believe it was just absolutely spot on. I think we were, I don't even know if we were there. Yeah, that was pretty much, look at this. This is just, wow. Felt like a teach a course on this, you know. Actually, you know what? This this course, what you just looked at here, this ABCD, this was taught by a guy named Frank Tubbs. In the uh, let me think, it was in the uh, 19, 1955 56 era, and uh, he was teaching ABCDs in the stock market. It's called the Tub Stock Market Course. He didn't sell very many of them, but uh, that's what he was doing. He was teaching ABCD, and Gartley, who discovered basically the ABCD on page two, uh, 249 of his book. Uh, he didn't didn't do any legal things against him. He thought that this would help people, and so that they would allow to do it. But they didn't sell many of them. But uh, it was called the the Tubbs uh, Tubbs Stock Market Course. I don't remember what it cost. The the Gartley book was, of course, uh, that was fifteen hundred dollars that he sold in nineteen thirty seven. But he only sold fifteen copies of it. But remember, fifteen hundred dollars. In 1937 was the cost of three Ford automobiles. So that's a, a main thing that you got to remember here. I want to do one other quick thing here to take a look at this on uh, the uh, the Nike because it's had one heck of a move here. Wow, it's been a straight up uh, straight up move. Okay, eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, and uh, we'll be back with your questions. I think we have a little bit time for a question if you like but i hope this is interesting to you as it is to me and then we will move on tomorrow we'll have tim bost i believe wednesday we'll have jeff huge thursday will be jc parrots of all-star charts and friday will be a vacation well not a vacation day i have to do some family things on friday so i may not may or may not be here on friday chances are yes i will be but it's 50 50 right now 
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we've been asked to take a look at the little uh, ETF that's come out, BitDo, which is the ETF for uh, Bitcoin, I guess. Uh, you'll notice here that uh, we went down and made a 1.27 expansion of the move from the 19th through the 20th that was the opening remember and we've marked those 61 382s 50% all the way down and the 1.27 was on Friday of course it gapped up uh, about a point and a half today and uh, wh what we're watching now is sitting right at the 382 retracement here at 41 that's 382 off of the high but with that big gap up folks uh, that's a sign that we're probably going to see some higher prices in this uh, we'll keep an eye on it just to walk through and just see the patterns unfold, the ABCDs and stuff. Um, so remember, if you're in the hog trade or looking at the hogs, you don't want it to get below 73. And uh, if it gets below 73, there's something wrong, and you don't want to stand in front of it because it's, uh, these numbers are really accurate. Uh, and uh, they're they're not perfect, but by golly, they have some pretty good. We saw it in Nike. My gosh, I hadn't, I hadn't looked at that stock for months and months, and yet that's what's been happening here. Okay, now keeping a close eye on that. By the way, folks, we did take out the high in the the Russell did get above that old high, above the 78, right at the 78 percent retracement at uh, 212. Uh, I think 213 was the high. So we're in an area where we want to be watching. Now we're approaching that number here that we looked at in the uh, in the uh, S and P folks. That comes in at uh, 453. We're at 452.50 on this particular being new high ground here. So you don't have to risk more than a nickel. Five points is your absolute max that you have to risk on this because. Uh, 
the high was uh, 453.75. So if you were able to sell it there, I wouldn't risk more than let's say uh, five points, which is uh, 457 and change. But uh, watch it closely because this should be it. It should be sitting right there where mother god and country comes together at the same time so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless and we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with tim boss